in the Journalist Department of Columbia College, author, documentarian, and Green Party candidate for U.S. Senate, Lee Allen Jones, spoke about the importance of voting. I've always had a concern more than I've had an ambition. You guys can understand that. I've always had a concern more than I've had an ambition. I thought journalism would be enough. I thought telling the stories that I did as a 13-year-old and as an 18-year-old about the life in the community would change those things. I thought people had, if people were made aware that everybody should be concerned relative to things that they're aware about, to bring action to things that had inaction and that caused pain and suffering. Even though it's blue country, it's because Janulius is such a weak candidate. Both of them are weak candidates. If you look at their poll numbers, uh, out of the 41 percent of people that say they're voting, you know, out of the percentages that say they're voting for either Kirk or Janulius, if you ask either one of them do they favor them, you have more, you know, almost half say that they don't favor either one. No matter what politician you look at, and you need to take this to heart. No matter what person you look at in the political apparatus. They are somebody's puppet to a greater extent unless they've had generational wealth, uh, have created their own personal wealth some way. Most politicians, 85 to 95 percent of them, are puppets for somebody else's agenda. They're puppets. So they can sit there and see that that's a Blackhawk shirt, but because of what's in their back, they may say, that's a hell of a red wing shirt you got on. It says Blackhawks. But the interest that are behind them says, you need to look at that and say, uh, that's a Pittsburgh thing. Everything that I was told. But now that you are running for Senate, the U.S. Senate, you don't think that eventually you'll be the same person that might be changed up? That's, that's, determined, on how, that's, that's determined on how well I do of getting, of getting new people within the system. If I allow myself to stay there, and allow and, and not continue to open up the doors for other people, yeah, you're very likely going to have to conform to the environment around you no matter what you say. You do right if you have people that are right at the wheel. Government will do wrong if you have people that are wrong controlling the wheel. Government is only a vessel that can operate at the hands of the operator that's there. So if you change government, and I mean, you not necessarily change government, yeah. but change the people that are the operators of that government. If they begin, if it will very likely begin to produce things that are in your interest as opposed to you in on zoning and lobbying on those interests as a voter, and you be able to get those things done. But we tend to believe it's a lot more sophisticated than that because we defer. Because we're a conformist society, is why we don't take, we don't participate in the civics to the degree that we should. And if we all just had a greater consciousness and participated within the civics, we'd have a greater capacity within our society.